Hello everyone, it is Monday, September 24th, in the year of LO 2012. How are all you doing out there? I'm doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. I'd be just a hair better if my Patriots weren't 1-2. and two. They lost to the damn Baltimore Ravens last night though. Arrgh! Not good. A heartbreaker of a game. We were up 30 to 21. It was like six minutes to go. They scored a touchdown. It was 30 to 28. Patriots had the ball. Got stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. Baltimore got the ball back and marched on downfield. Kicked the field goal at the end of the game to win it. Barely got that field goal. But barely counts. Almost doesn't. So it is what it is. You know, Patriots are 1 and 2. First time they've been below 500 since 2003. I love you, Bu Buffalo Bills, but I'm telling you right now, and all you great fans, the Patriots are like the Blues Brothers. They're on a mission from God. And we're going to Buffalo. We are going to kick the ever-living shit out of the Bills this weekend. You just watch. And the four Bills have no running backs. Freddie Jackson's out. C.J. Spiller, he was doing great. So good to see that. But then he went out, bum shoulder. Ah. So, love you, Bills fans. And I like the Bills a lot. <laughs> I am not rooting for them on Sunday. Sorry, folks. Patriots, baby. They got pulled ahead out of their ass fast. And no, the referees did not cause us to lose the game. So if anybody thinks they did, nope. They were equally shitty on both sides. God, he's a replacement ref suck. All right. Unofficial sponsor of the show, my good friend... Johnny and his better half, Emma Montgomery. TheRavel.com, T-H-E-R-A-V-E-L.com. Check it out. You'll love it. Mustang Brewing Company, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, otherwise known as Southern Kansas. Phenomenal beer by phenomenal people who have watched my show and love it. And I love their beer and want more. Um, my good friend, Crystal Lloyd Dozani, KJ Lloyd, Ogana Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. There's the website address right there. She's a published poet, 50-style pinup girl. And a future aspiring actress. And, oh, by the way, I worked with her in Jolly Old England. And she was the babe of the day on Friday's episode from September 21st. And she asked me last night. She wanted to know what everybody thought of the pictures I showed off. Crystal Addiction. K-R-Y-S-T-A-L-A-D-D-I-C-T-I-O-N. Check it out on Facebook. Do a search for it. And uh, she is phenomenal. She's gorgeous. And a total sweetheart, so and it makes good coffee. My good friend Rob Johnson and his better half Stephanie. Now Rob loves my friend Stephanie's Steph uh, well of course Rob loves Stephanie. He also loves my loves my friend Crystal's uh, page too. Now Rob is a computer wizard. He also has a Facebook uh, business page, CompuTune. Facebook.com slash CompuTune. And I think it's all one word if I'm not mistaken. But either way, let me know what you think. This guy has helped me out personally with my computer issues. And his better half, Stephanie, I've known for over 30 years. And she is awesome. Wicked awesome. Uh, my good friend, Wally Fortier. Wally's aluminum shaping process. Not Wally's ass sculpting process. So he probably wouldn't mind if she was single, of course. Him and I are suffering, suffering equally. His Broncos lost. My Patriots lost. Both teams are one and two. He lives right across the street from me in yeah, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And uh, Facebook.com slash WASPA. That's W-A-S-P-A-A. -A. I shared the page last night. You all need to check it out, folks. Amazing aluminum art. He just made a bunch of uh, Steelers stuff. Outstanding stuff. And finally, my man Tom Walk, general manager of Stevens Rubber Stamp and Sign Company out of good old Abilene. In Yeehaw, Texas, where men are men and the bulls run scared. As you can see, contact information and all kinds of stuff that that man makes. Amazing. Phenomenal stuff for phenomenal people. And if you ain't phenomenal, you probably don't want your business. So there. You gotta be awesome. Period. Dot. End of story. That's just the way we do business. Alright. So, with that said, let's uh, get to my beer of the day. Oh, ho. My man Justin Dimmitt, you you'd love this one, and so will a lot of you out there. My man Russ Gardner was telling me to um, big shout out to you, Russ. Sorry about the Eagles. I know they're one and two also. Oof, the Cardinals are for real, right? Kevin Harding, damn right. 
They are. Cardinals are phenomenal this year. 3 0. See, the Patriots didn't lose to a scrub. But, Har Blue Moon Harvest Pumpkin Ale. 5.7% of pure awesomeness. Folks, this beer is truly exquisite. Phenomenal. Amazing. And Russ was telling me I need to have all those different uh, autumn, fall beers on the show. I've done that the past few days. And this is another one. Here you we go. Proper beer opening technique. Not the best pop in the world, but not too shabby either. Right, Justin? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. And my man Justin is now ordained as well. So congratulations, Justin. You are now a reverend. Wicked awesome. Mighty proud of you. And a Masonic brother as well. There you go. There's your 45 degree angle. Perfect pour each and every time. Right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn awesome. A big cheers and beers to all of you. Prost, as they say in Germany. Kampai, as they say in Japan. Ah, mm. All right. How about we get to birthdays? My man Joe Stratton. Happy birthday to you. Crudo! Guy worked with in good old Japan. He's living in California, the land of fruits and nuts. Hey, he's from Cali. You are living in Cali, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think you are. But he is a true, wicked hardcore Oakland A's fan, Oakland Raiders fan. He sticks with his home teams like I do. Hey, I may not like the Raiders, but always respect the man that sticks with their team. And Joe, you definitely do that, brother. Pleasure to talk sports with you. Congratulations on that huge win over the Steelers. That, my friends, was a shocker. Blown away. Did not see that coming. Steelers losing to the Raiders. Niners losing to the Vikings? Are you kidding me? Wow. Yesterday's games were just... Week three of the NFL was the weirdest I think I've ever seen in my life. But Joe, congratulations, brother. And uh, cheers and beers to you. Your, your team has the same record as my Patriots. One and two. Happy birthday to my good friend, Brandy Lewis. Now here is a beautiful... Total sweetheart lady. I've known her for over 30 years. I met her early. Well, yeah, I met her early in 82, actually. And, uh, Brandy, happy birthday, my friend. Always a pleasure chatting with you. You're still absolutely stunningly gorgeous and a total sweetheart. And Mr. Jason Jolliffe, I hope you're watching, too. I miss you, bud. Awesome guy. And you treat her like gold because you know what? Treat her like royalty. She is royalty. I'm telling you. Awesome, awesome friend. And you're a pretty damn awesome fella yourself. I've known you for well over 30 years. So, Jay, spoil your lady today. And, Brandy, you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy, my dear. And I miss you. Next on the list, my man, Justin Greer. Happy birthday, brother. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. I remember hanging out with you in Germany when we were um, hanging out in a professional development class for six weeks of awesomeness and vacation. Dude, that was great times. I drank seven cases of Francis, Franziskana Hefeweizen and Dunkel. <coughs> wow. And uh, you and I and our buddy Jeff Graziano. Good times, man. I miss it. I miss you, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. And uh, I give you the salute because you're just that cool. Party hard and enjoy, my man. Next on the list, I've known this young man for over a decade. My man, Pete Castalis, a comical, navid, super badass genius of a man and an awesome guy. Originally from the Philippines and... Uh, Living in jolly old England. I worked with him in England. I worked with him in Japan. You going to follow me to Yeehaw, Texas, too? Hey, follow a good example. Yeah, I'm not much of one. But hey, Pete, happy birthday to you, my friend. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And uh, a big cheers and beers to you, brother. Good hanging out with you in Bible camp last year. That was definitely awesome time. And finally, happy birthday to an awesome lady I haven't met in person. But we play the Mafia Wars very heavily. Katie Jones, I hope you're doing well. Hope you have a phenomenal birthday. 
celebrate well and enjoy, my friend. And uh, you should recognize me as a, the love doctor on the old Mafia Wars. You've probably seen that. I've played the uh, face, the uh, Farmville. I haven't played that in a long time. And then, of course, I'm uh, heavily on the uh, song pop now. So if you play that, drop me a line. I know my old school music. That's what I dominate in, but I'll play it all because it's a lot of fun. With that said, how about some additional shout-outs? My man John Hurt. He is a cop and a damn good one. And a phenomenal man, a phenomenal friend of mine. Knew him in jolly old England. He has now moved to North Carolina, otherwise known as Southern Virginia. NASCAR country. And John, it was a pleasure and an honor to celebrate with a lung slayer on the phone yesterday. Great hearing from you. Always a pleasure talking to you. You can call me anytime. Well, hey, if I don't answer, that means I'm either sleeping, busy, or something. But John, I miss you, bud. And uh, someday you will get more of Farrah's amazing white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. Hear ya! Dude, I miss you, bud. Ugh. Squeeze me. Let's drink together. I hope you're having a beer on this here show. We will drink together. I salute you, my friend. And uh, next on the list, my man Scott Peskowski. This guy is a jetsicle, a badass one, a good man, and a fellow Red Sox fan. And I worked with him in jolly old England. And he has just moved here to Yeah, Texas, otherwise known as Western Louisiana. Heck yeah. Um, Scott, can't wait to hang out with you. Drink adult beverages together. Talk sports. Whatever, brother. Um, bring your carcass along with the rest of you over to this here place. And we will party like it's 1969 minus the acid. Miss you, bud. And always a pleasure keeping in touch with you. Now we're going to hang out together. Like old times. Next on the list, an awesome lady. A bubble chasing badass. Air chasing badass. Hydrastics. My good friend Raina Howenstein. Who I worked with in good old Japan. Keep in touch with her all the time. Hey Raina, you got complaints about some of the uh, playlists on the old song pop? Well, hey, I try to spread the wealth. Variety is the spice of life. And I bring a little everything at you because it's fun. And yeah, I know some of those categories I have are goofy. French 50s, French 60s, uh, rock and espanol, reggae, ska, I love that stuff. Um, but you come at me with modern rap, modern country, um, today's hits, summer 2012. To me, that's foreign music, Raina. That's foreign music. Oh, by the way, Raina is a friend of mine that can outdrink me faster you can say holy sweet Jesus Dr. B in the time that I said that she could have slammed the beer because she's that awesome and Raina because of you I now make sure that I finish a beer on each and every show I can't slam it like you because well one I can't open my throat like that and two I'm just not as cool as you but I savor the flavor and Raina, I miss you. And you're welcome down here in Yeehaw, Texas, anytime. I know you're living in northern Louisiana, otherwise known as Arkansas. So, miss you, girl. Hope you, hope you enjoy the show. And finally, a shout-out to a couple buddies of mine. My man, Tony the Tip Baronka. A hydrastic badass I worked with in jolly old England. And Guido. My, my cousin Guido, Dennis Guidus, a crew dog that I work with in good old Japan. See, these two guys I was chatting it up with last night and yesterday, they are wicked hardcore diehard Baltimore Ravens fans. And you know what, fellas? That was a damn good game last night. Except the wrong team won. Why? Because my Patriots didn't win, damn it. But Ravens, Patriots, hell of a game. Um... Vicious, vicious game. It always is. Always an exciting and vicious, malicious game. Um, 
Dude, what was up with people trying to kill Dion Branch, though? Seriously, man. You know, it's like, welcome back to the NFL. <sighs> you should have stayed your ass out. Man, they were crushing him. And he kept getting up. Like a Timex, he kept taking a lick and it kept on ticking. Phenomenal. But yeah, hell of a game till the end. Painful. But you know the pain. You guys dealt with it in the playoffs last year. When good old <laughs> Ray Stinkle himself, Billy Cundiff, shanked that 32-yard attempt. And the Patriots beat you guys. You had us beat. This time, you guys barely got that field goal, but barely counts, unlike just missed. And uh, you know what? We'll just get your asses in the playoffs. That's what will happen. But a big shout-out to you guys. And I give you the uh, cheers of respect. Good job. You guys deserve the win. With that said, how about some additional celebrity birthdays for today? Uh, on this day, 1948, the late, great Phil Hartman, Saturday Night Live, was born. Passed away in 1998 at the age of 49, unfortunately. On this day, in 1896, famous author F. Scott Fitzgerald was born. Passed away at the age of 44 from a heart attack in 1940. The late, great Jim Henson of the Muppets died at the age of 53, but born on this day in 1936. On this day in 1958, Kevin Sorbo was born. Yeah, the big... Uh, Hercules. On this day in 1964, Raphael Palmero, Mr. I didn't do steroids, but found out he did. Palmero, hell of a player, but ah, tainted stats. On this day in 1946, a true badass was born. Mean Joe Green, number 75 defensive tackle, Pittsburgh Steelers. That guy was cool. I don't care what anybody says. That guy was cool. And still is today. <coughs> Squeeze me. And on this day in 1921, a guy who's forgotten, but what he did was truly amazing. The late, great Jim McKay passed away four years ago at the age of 86, but born on this day, September 24th, 1921. If you don't know who he was, he was the guy that did all the Olympics in the 50s and 60s, as well as uh, in the 70s and 80s, the great stories he told, along with um, ABC Wide World of Sports every Saturday. I remember Jim McKay well, and he is definitely missed. With that said, how about some milestones? On this day in 1968, 60 Minutes premiered on CBS television. I could have sworn I said that just a few days ago. I don't know. BrainyHistory.net, I think the website is. BrainyHistory.com, BrainyTrivia.com. It's where I get my info from. On this day in 1979, CompuServe became the first computer information service. How about that? Also on this day in 1979, Ghana adopted their constitution. On this day in 1977, The Love Boat premiered on ABC TV. On this day in 1973, Guinea-Bissau declared independence. Happy Independence Day, Guinea-Bissau. Yes, they're a country. On this day in 1964, The Munsters premiered. On this day in 1960, cool one. My man Justin Dim is going to love this. On this day in 1960, the USS Enterprise launched. That is the first Nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. And I'm sure you like that name. Urbandale, Iowa. How the hell did it launch in Iowa, an aircraft carrier? I don't know. Oh, no, I lied. I, I mixed that up with, ha, 1958 on this day. The first welded aluminum girder highway bridge was completed in Urbandale, Iowa. That makes sense. The same day that Kevin Sorbo was born. On his day in 1957, this is a sad one, the Brooklyn Dodgers played their last game ever at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. A damn shame that the Dodgers were moved from Brooklyn because the fans love that team a lot. And I am not going to do a McAfee scan now. Bad idea. On his day in 1956, the first transatlantic telephone cable was used and it was between Newfoundland, Canada, and Scotland, United Kingdom. On this day in 1954, this is a huge one. The Tonight Show premiered on NBC TV. 58 years later, still going strong. Phenomenal. On this day in 1924, Logan Airport in Boston opened. Awesome. On this day in 1895, the first round-the-world trip by a woman on a bicycle occurred. Took 15 months to accomplish it. 
to accomplish it, but it got done. And finally, on this day in, 19, in 1742, Faneuil Hall, also known as Quincy Marketplace, was open to the public. How about that? So there's your all that wonderful information. Let's get to the uh, TV episode of the day. Twilight Zone, season one, episode number 23, from March 11th, 1960. A world of difference. A really neat story, by the way. Basically, Art Arthur Curtis thinks he's an average businessman living a normal life. Or is he an actor playing a businessman in an office that's really a set? Hmm. Yeah, kind of a case of um, confused identities on this one. Really neat. And uh, basically the guy kind of likes the life that he's acting out. And eventually I think he assumes that life, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't seen the show in a while, and I kind of need to see it. So, a good episode indeed, as every episode of The Twilight Zone was, by the great Rod Serling. There you go. Oh, it's a treat time for all of you who love Jessica Alba. She is the babe of the day. Born April 28th, 1981. She's 31. That's probably a more recent shot of her. Folks, this is how I remember her. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yowza. Question said, what is her bra size? I'm thinking probably 34C, most likely. Yeah, baby, yeah. And look at that. Look at that smile. If that ain't gorgeous, I don't know what is. If that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. Quite a body, too. Healthy. Nice. Stunning. Love it, love it, love it. If I was single, she would be... Well, no, Natalie Portman would be my wife because I always had her as number one. But I think Jessica Alba would definitely be top five. So many choices. Hmm. Sultry. Need I say more? Probably not. Of course, she has changed her hair color more than anybody I ever think I've ever met. Mm hmm. Yeah, buddy. There you go. The lovely Jessica Alba. 31 and... Man, oh man. Gorgeous. So, it is time to get to the song of the day. And we're taking it to Jamaica, folks. Real Jamaican ska. None of that um, modern punk ska. No, this is... Ska is original. 1959 to 65. Um, Jamaican music. You had Mento in the in the early 50s, and it transitioned to ska, lots of horns, and then on to rock steady, which less horns, more upbeat still, and then right on to reggae. Toots and the Maytals and um, Bob Marley, definitely the trendsetters for that. But this one is from the year of Jamaican independence, 1962. This is Rough and Tough by Stranger Cole. And I think you're going to love this one. I know I do. One of my personal favorite Jamaican songs of all time. If you don't like this song, you probably shouldn't have ears. Because they're probably doing you no good. You can't tell me this ain't a catchy tune. Very catchy tune. Yeah, man. Yeah, whoa, man. Just the album. Wow. Off and puff, huh? Hmm. Some people like it rough and tough. Hey. To each their own, right? That's right. That's what the love doctor says. And 
like every good old school song, or pretty much every one of them. Gotta have a good instrumental break, right? Duh! So what do you think of this one, folks? Let me, I want some input on this song. Let me know what you think. Real Jamaican no bullshit ska right here. There's two things I want from you viewers today. I want some comments. Whether on the old Facebook, whether on the old YouTube. I want to know what you think of this song. And I want to know if you remember Friday's episode. Want some compliments or any any comments on my good friend Crystal Lloyd Design. The only celebrity of the day that I know personally. And I'm very good friends with her. Empty as the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. stuffed up today. I had to get a flu shot. And where I get flu shots, they do nasal drip crap. Yuck. Squeeze me. Alright, folks. You know? You know what time it is, right? That's right, Reverend Dr. B. It's time to make like a fetus and head out so everybody take care of wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spray your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumb to be in the Yankees fan. Or what's dumb to that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady Manning. He's actually better this year. Jackass. Or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And don't forget, the Mannings, three Super Bowl rings. Tom Brady, three Super Bowl rings. He's as good as both of them put together. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, and hey, uh, hey, how about a two, how about a two bite me's to all those stupid replacement refs? Y'all suck, jackasses. I want the real ones back. Bye.